Hey y'all, got a break in the rain, so let's go see what I've got growing. I have a new garden helper, y'all. This is Casey Jolene. Y'all, I'm supposed to be doing cookies, <laughs> but I am walking around in my garden because um, we finally have a break in the rain. It has been raining for days and days. My yard is saturated. My garden is saturated, and I think I have some squash and zucchini. Um that are sizes of small children so i got my basket and i have my little garden helper following me and we're gonna go see what we got like i said it has been raining for days and days and days look at all that grass y'all don't judge but i know i have some zucchini in here that should have been harvested a long time ago yeah there's one and there's another fatty right there y'all <laughs> had to stop filming a minute because i almost um yeah i almost busted my butt <laughs> it is so wet and soggy out here but i've got lots to show you these are market more cucumbers we have deer here so i planted them right close to the fence because i've got some other things out here that i did not want the deer to be able to uh, reach over and grab but i've got some baby cucumbers coming on thank goodness my yellow squash and my zucchini are thriving out here amongst all of this water Casey's not happy with having wet feet and I, I planted uh, Armenian white cucumbers and Kajari melons out here in the middle areas um, but I don't remember which side I planted on <laughs> so this is either Armenian white or Kajari and then over here is also either Armenian white or Kajari and I had very spotty germination on both sides so I went ahead and I reseeded right here Armenian white cucumbers. So let's see. I know I've already got one coming up right here. Let's see how much more we can get coming up. All right. My in ground tomatoes, y'all. Look. These are yellow pears. And they are doing extremely well. Lots of blossoms if I can keep her from munching. Okay. This is another one. I don't remember what it is because none of my markers stay. If y'all have a suggestion on markers that will stay in the garden through the heat, please let me know. Because, yeah, I don't know what I planted where anymore. So, I am single stemming these. Um, I don't remember what this is called. Welded wire. Um, we ran out of cattle panels. So, welded wire was the cheaper option. So, that's what I'm using for trellising. This is a lemon boy, and I have several of these. I think about a six pack of them. I have romas out here. Last year I grew romas uh, from seed, and they uh, were not quite romas. So I tried a different seed packet this year to see what we could come up with. I have some tame jalapenos on the ends, and then back here is my sweet corn. So I have three rows of sweet corn, and then over here are my okra. With the rain, we had a lot of wind, so I've got some trees down. The entire front of my house is shaded, so I am going to embrace my shade. And I planted some shade-loving items here in the front, some hostas. Um, there's actually some mint and some lavender and some different things up here. Coleus, definitely. 
So I'm trying to get this to fill in. That's a hookara. Just some different things. That is comfrey. And there's another one right down there. Anyway, I'm embracing this shade. And I also have some other shade over here that this is mostly in shade this side. So from about right here over is shaded for most of the day. So I definitely have some more hostas and hookeras and hookerellas. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow plant. That is a shade loving blueberry right there. And these are all volunteer Mexican marigolds. I had some things planted in here, uh, dill and stuff like that last year. But uh, what is that called, y'all? I forget. But uh, it reseeded in there. I didn't plant it in there. There's another blueberry because you want to plant them within so many feet of each other so they can uh, pollinate. I've got a lot of stuff in here. I don't even remember what I put in here. But these are my roses that I got for Mother's Day. Oh, and I have a puppy in the flower bed, which we're still learning, y'all. We're still learning. Let me just hold on to her. Then uh, there's another climbing rose and my mint that I keep contained because it is invasive and some beautiful sage. That leads right over here to what I'm calling my food forest. This time last year, this whole trellis was covered, y'all. I'm about a month behind because of, you know, Snowpocalypse 2020. I was talking uh, to uh, another YouTuber on uh, her live and we were talking about, the, I'm so sorry, the puppy was chewing on my mic. <laughs> anyway, I said, you know, in, in Texas, we are, uh, the only blizzards we know come from the Dairy Queen. So that kind of threw us all for a loop and set us all behind. These are all of my climbing beans and I have bush beans planted below them. And there's bush beans in here. My tomatillo leaves are turning yellow, y'all. Don't know what the problem is with that. Brandywine tomatoes back there. Last year I made a mistake and planted four different tomatoes side by side in that raised bed. I could not remember which ones were which whenever I harvested. So now I know all of those are brandywine. These are all cherry tomatoes and they will completely cover this cattle panel trellis here. Here's some more, and there are definitely tomatoes on already all over the place. Look at those little cuties. And this poor plant split twice, once right here and once down in there, and I don't know if you can see it right there. But it doesn't seem to be affecting it at all we're still doing good we're still blooming and uh, let's see what happens with them i'm gonna leave them alone definitely planted some marigolds in all my little raised beds and over in tomato alley just to uh kind of discourage some pests y'all last year i had squash and zucchini planted in this bed tons and tons of squash bugs so i pulled them out and planted zinnias these are all volunteers from last year. This puppy is not happy, y'all. I have some dahlias down right there. Pretty, pretty dahlias. And then let's go look at Tomato Alley. This is what I'm calling Tomato Alley. All these are different tomatoes and I definitely marked them, but um, yeah, the markers didn't stay. Some of these I bought like this one, this Jetstar, and y'all, I don't know what is wrong with this thing, but look, it is, it's losing its mind. I topped it for one thing, did not do it on purpose, so I'm letting some other um, armpits grow. It's not doing anything. I don't know, and it's all, the leaves are all shriveled, and the same thing, this is another um, Lemon Boy, and I topped it. I got to... <laughs> too aggressive with my pruners and but look at the leaves I don't understand the problem but all the rest of them 
are looking fabulous. Don't remember what this is, but I have black brandy wines. I have regular brandy wines. I've got blossoms and I've got fruit set on most of these. Y'all want to see a faciated blossom? This right here, this is a regular blossom. Right next to it is a faciated blossom, which means it's more than one blossom together. And this tomato is going to grow kind of cat faced. It looks like two blossoms in there, maybe three. I'm not sure, but we'll see what it produces. Casey, please stop, Mama more uh, marigolds in here and y'all this is my mortgage lifter i saw it on one of the uh, youtube channels and wanted to try it stivers homestead is where i saw this one and wanted to try it and it's doing fabulous i've got three fruit on here already now my greenhouse garden it's a disaster back here but i am loving what is happening did you just fall? That poor puppy just jumped off of the porch. Are you okay? <laughs> Crazy dog. All right. My mom is moving. She had this big planter at her place. Didn't want it anymore. So, yes, ma'am, I do want it. These are the asparagus beans, the yard long beans that get a long they get really really long and um, I use them just like green beans and this is a big trellis it's way above my head <laughs> my hand is right here and I still have about a foot I don't know what I was thinking but no ma'am I have my very first blossom how pretty is that so pretty Y'all, I planted way too many, way too many basils. And I still have way too many, but that's okay. My potatoes, I have these in my Dollar Tree uh, planters. These are really nice size, one and a half, two foot in diameter. But I have red potatoes in here. I don't remember what they are called. But there's blossoms coming on my tomato um, they're not tomatoes, Connie. They're potatoes. I have about eight of those, I believe. Yeah, eight of them. A couple there. One over here. I've got them to where they're set on my drip. I haven't had to use the drip. I'm just saying, too much rain. My peppers are looking fantastic. I did top most of my peppers just to see. I've never done it before. But I have bell peppers all over the place. This is a purple beauty. Look at how gorgeous that one's growing down there. Let me make sure that it is loose. Girl, I don't know what your problem is, but you're making too much noise. These are Big Berthas. These are Big Berthas. They're supposed to get really, really big, nice, sweet bell peppers. I have a couple of those. And then Kajari Melons right here on both sides along with some more volunteer oh what are they called asparagus beans the yard long beans i had them here last year my strawberries came back with a vengeance these are ever bearing i have some more up front that are june bearing and these i believe are my tame jalapenos looking good here's another purple bell that's a tame jalapeno and these are poblanos giant poblanos and i am super excited for those these tomato not tomatoes why do i keep calling them tomatoes they're potatoes but they're about to start blossoming and i have a poor volunteer tomato right here i think this is a, no that looks like a yellow pear yep looks like a yellow pear it volunteered so i just left it my poor brussels sprouts have been in here since 
September or October of last year and have done nothing. The last little thing I want to show you are my supertunias and my sedum. And I call it a window box. It's not attached to a window, y'all. It's on the porch, but porch box just doesn't sound right. So these are freshly planted this year, and y'all, they are going crazy. Right on the side of my porch. There's my food forest. And then I have three more and two cats fighting. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, these are my June bearing strawberries and they are looking beautiful. This is their second year and I started with four plants. That is it. My succulents, I had to rebuy all of this because, you know, they don't like the snow. But they got twice as expensive as they were last year. So this is all I got. <laughs> Not much left, y'all. And then just one other small flower garden and I'm fixing to have to go and figure out what's wrong with this puppy I don't know what she's fussing about but look I love all the color y'all okay I am going to say goodbye for now thank y'all for joining me I hope uh, you enjoyed my little garden tour I will definitely show you harvest later on Um maybe some preserving but y'all i've got cookies it's graduation week here i've got cookies and cupcakes and uh yeah lots of work to do so i'm gonna go get started i'll see y'all soon